So you should have your samples, hopefully by now, or they're coming. And so you're gonna get them in a little tin, in a little container such as this. And the first step is contour. Contour that was really thick, so the consistency part is, is different than the cream. So what I recommend is, you can see right on that side, there it is. So I want you to take your finger in there and kind of smear it a little bit first. It's much different once you get, once you buy an actual tin of makeup it versus in here, because you need to have more of like a, a surface. Because if you just dab in there, you're gonna bring a big old clump out and you don't want a clump. So kind of smear it in there so it's on your finger like this. And then we're gonna take that down your forehead like so. Okay, that's the first part of step one and then the other side. So we're making a rainbow basically. I have mine probably a little bit darker than normal, but it blends out and it's okay if you have it that dark. So continue to go in, kind of give it a smear, and then you're gonna find your cheekbone. So you're gonna start from back here because that's where you're more shadowed. So if you have a heavier on your, a more heavy gunk on your finger, it's gonna start back where you're more shadowed. So start back where you're more shadowed, find that cheekbone, and you're gonna go to about the outside of your eye. You don't wanna bring it in here and you don't wanna drag it down here. So sometimes even if you, can you see that line? So you wanna start and just right under that bone, drag it forward. So I got mine a little bit lower than what I want it to because honestly, whenever I was digging in there, it kinda got on the side of my finger. So. That's my fault. Um, it's so much easier in a tin, but what do you do? I can only do so much. So there is my contour line. It's right under that contour or that cheekbone. And then I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing, find that bone. See, I even have it. <laughs> it's starting to make marks on my skin. Drag it. down. So when you see me from the front, you shouldn't see a whole lot. There shouldn't be things right here. Okay. And then you can do a little bit on the sides of your nose. When you do that, you want to bring it to the front of your nose. Don't bring it down your nostrils because that's just going to make your nostrils look wider, your nose look wider and bigger. So we don't want that. And then we can tip off our nose. And then underneath that jaw, we're gonna drag it. And sometimes we gotta get this pretty face right here, just so you can find that double chin. Okay. If you need to take it back a little bit towards your ear, so be it. So that's step one, that's contour, done. Just remember, you gotta get in there and kind of work it around a little bit, um, cause it is thicker. Step two is gonna be your highlighter. As you get used to doing your makeup, you will do it however you please. I started out doing my highlight first. Um, but what happens is when you start with contour, especially for beginners, it kind of gives people a little roadmap to follow. So it's easier to teach that way. So step two is your brightening, Highlight, it is the lightest color. For me, mine is Aura. Everyone else's could be completely different. So I start here, I go into my tin, which when you in, when your little, your pot, you're gonna smear it around a little bit. But I go into my tin and I just tap. And I go down my forehead, down my nose. And then I make kind of like a little V, a wing off of that. You do not want this heavy because if it goes on heavy, it will be cakey and you don't want that. So we're coming straight down. Gonna grab your Cupid, Cupid's bow and your chin. And again, tap, tap. Okay. And now I'm going to my eyes. I'm not gonna take it the whole way under my eye. I'm gonna get the inside corner of my eye and kind of pull it quarter of the way maybe. 
and then I'm gonna wing the outside of my eye up towards my eyebrow. Okay, same thing on the other side. Got it? Okay, now we're moving to step three, which is your main shade. It is deeper, it is more your skin color. All right, so smear in your pot a little bit. I'm gonna tap, tap into my tin and I am filling in the blanks. Now, I got my contour a little low, I'll be honest. I didn't really leave a lot of room for um, bronzer. Bronzer kind of fills in right through here. I didn't leave a lot of room for it. I got a little low. So if you go a little higher, that's, it's good. You just don't want to be up along your, your forehead, your hairline, kind of like right here. I just went low, but again, it's okay because it all blends and it really is like a no brainer. So we're just kind of filling in the blanks right now. We do not need to fill right here though, because A, that's where your cheek color goes and that's where bronzer goes, if you wanna bronze, and that's where illuminator grows, if you grows, goes, if you wanna illuminate. So we do not have to fill in here. We wanna get under our eye. I usually give a tap on my nostril and then I come in and fill like that apple of my cheek. I don't prefer to wear my blush on the apple of my cheek, you may, that's your call. I did, I did get that contour just a touch low. You can see the difference. It's here and it's down here. You can see it's a little low. So preferably, it's a little low. I would prefer it to be up here just a little bit, but I have that perfectionist mentality, but it's gonna be okay. So I just don't like it as low because I have that darkness on my face. So we are just filling in on either side of our cupid's bow, either side of our chin, and then underneath our contour line, I'm gonna fill that a little bit heavier for me. I've already done a little bit of spot correcting there just because after watching my videos, you probably know that that's my problem area. Okay, and then I'll take one back to my temple. I think I already got that side, but that, that's that. So then if you want to do bronzer, you would take, it's gonna be a little bit thicker too. You're gonna take it and just kind of pop, pop the bronzer um, this bronzer is Bella. It's a little deeper. The other bronzer is Tan Lines. It has more of an orange cast to it. Tan Line usually goes with fair people. Um, but I use Bella. Bella is actually a really good universal because it just doesn't carry so much orange. Okay, so you see that? I just filled in that area. Now I'm gonna go in right here and get my lip and cheek on. So I probably sent you a few samples of lip and cheek. Um, choose one today, play with it. Put one on your, your cheek, put a different color on your lips, see what floats with you. If you wanna put one color on your top lip, one color on your bottom lip, so be it. One color on one side, one on the other, so be it. Um, just know once you start putting colors on, especially the darker colors, they could kind of stain your lip a little bit that way when you put your next color on, you're not gonna get the exact shade of what that color is. Um, does that make sense? I think it should, so. Um, so today, wow, I'm just going with my, my trusty color that I love the most that nobody can buy anymore. And I will be so sad when that day comes that it is gone. But this color is my favorite. It's called Ever Red. It was a shade only out um, in November of this year. So I pray they bring it back. Um, it's kind of like the current shades of the season right now. They have Love Spell and um, Audrey and Bear and something else. Um, but Love Spell is really pretty, but it's a deeper purple. So if it's something that you love, like jump on it before it goes out. Um, 
but if you like that red, the closest one to it would be Black Cherry. Black Cherry is super pretty too. It just has like a tint of like a bluish purple cast underneath it. So it is super pretty though. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my lips while I'm at it. Just so you know, this is Ever Red. Look how dark that is. Kind of scary, right? This is Love Spell. This is Ever Red. It's really dark and scary looking. Same way with um, oh, Black Cherry. Same way with, what's the other one that I like so well? Ruby. Ruby is really bright and scary. She's so pretty. But look at that. Like it's not, it's not so scary. So now you probably do not have a brush. These brushes are amazing. Um, the 3D brush is the most versatile to start off with. As I've gotten a few more brushes, I'm like, oh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one too. But to start off with, this one really is just versatile because you can get into these areas right here you can you can get into some highlight like for me because I put that so low I probably need to tap into my highlight and clean some of that up so it's not so dark right there so you can kind of draw with it a little bit if you want to um sorry touching that back up so I do like this brush but I'm going to assume you are you have samples, you don't have a brush, but hopefully you can run out and grab a little beauty blender, okay? Um, this isn't 100% ideal, but it absolutely works. So um, you want to get your beauty blender blah, 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 wet, all right? Shh, and then um, squeeze it out. Do it about three times, and then really just make sure it is super, super wrung out all the drips are gone. And then we're gonna go in and I'm gonna start with my eyes first. And I'm just gonna press at my eyes. I'm not dragging anything. I'm just trying to press that in. We will kind of have to press and pull a little bit once we get to our contour, because our contour is thicker. And if you want it, if you have brushes at home, you can absolutely give a whirl with your brush what I have found, most brushes are not dense enough to move the product. They are um, more flimsy and floppy like, like this. And a lot of times, and still this is pretty dense because it is made to be denser for cream, but a lot of times this type of brush isn't going to get that thicker contour up. So anyways, now for here, I am taking, I am pressing, and I'm kind of pulling up in this motion, okay? I want to pull that towards my hairline to create some shadow dimension, but it's a dab, a dab and a like flick off if that helps you. So I know again, this isn't ideal, but it still works. I'm gonna look in the mirror. And so when I look in the mirror, it looks pretty blended. I probably could have left a little bit more on, to be honest. So now I'm gonna go down and probably, let's go here. And let's, we're gonna pull that contour down our chin into our neck. This A will help you appear to have, don't blend it all away. Make sure you still have some color there. This will help you to have the appearance like a shadow of a jaw. And it also kind of creates that where you don't have a makeup line. So you just want to make sure that you don't see the line, but you see a shadow. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my nose and get that contour blended again dabbing grab the highlight that's there too go ahead around my cupid's bow my chin my nose is peeling sorry if you see that looks like i got a bugger but i don't have a bugger it's peeling all right and now we're going in i'm getting the sides with my 
um, main colors. And then I'm getting ready to press in my contour and my bronzer and my lip and cheek, okay? Can you see? I've got a little spot right there I need to get into a little bit. but I was able to do all of my makeup with a couple dollar tool versus having to spend $40 with a brush. Is the brush easier? Yeah, it is, I'm not gonna lie. But is it necessary? Nope, don't have to have it. Okay, so there. You go. I don't have my eyes, my mascara on yet, but those were your steps to get all of that on um, using a simple little beauty blender too. I hope that was helpful. I know it was long, but I wanted you to have a tutorial for you with your little pots of samples. Okay. I hope you have a great day. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help you.